A client came to Jeannie and showed her a segment of her plans. And here they are. Three panels. And then she wanted them in two different places on a roof. And so here is the design that Jeannie came up with. And now we want to talk to you about this wave design that she completed. Okay, and Jeannie's making two of these. And this is the one that's not quite done. You see that she's got soldered. She soldered this half. And this half is foiled, but it's not soldered yet. And now, aren't you going to uh, uh, patina the one that is done? I am. You want to come over and watch? Yep. Here we go. Now you'll see that this has got some towels underneath it. And... It needs it because these jewels are upside down right now. So while she's working on this side, she needs towels so that, uh, you know, the, the bottom is, uh, is supported well. Those are some really pretty jewels. They just look fabulous. Now, what uh, patina is this, Jeannie? Well, she decided that she wanted it to be a black patina. Okay. Yeah, I kind of liked it silver, but you know, have to do what they want, and this is what she wanted. It hey, you know what? Beautiful. Black is uh, is really good. It makes the lines just disappear. Oh, you can't go wrong. Okay, so since I want this to pick pretty deep, I'm going to put little puddles just all over the place. All right, now I see that you've got a little tiny rag. What's going on with that? Oh, well, I do just clip off a little piece at a time because after a while the patina uh, makes the rag disintegrate. And so I feel like, why throw away a whole big rag? I'm just going to throw away a little one, so I use a little at a time. Okay. It's that fast, huh? I like to think of it as like a... A stain like a wood stain only for metal because it just works that quickly oh yeah that's pretty that's really black that's now, she wants. are there any um like things it. that go awry when you do this I mean you know you have that uh, that. Yeah, sometimes when you, what I like to do when I do a bronze is just put the black patina on my rag and then wipe it down, wipe it on there, and uh -huh. that makes it more of a, a bronze kind of a hue to it. Yeah. And, uh, but that's why I put puddles here. That makes it a darker one. When I clean this, I want to clean it really well because, like you say, one thing that can go awry is that you'll get these little um, parts in here where it kind of turns white. And uh, so you got to clean it right now really well. Also, I can even see, well, of course, right now it's not cleaned up, but in between the parts, you can see kind of a shadow. And so to when you're polishing and cleaning that, it's very important to get in between the shadows. And even like right now, I've got this red, white, and blue <laughs> um, towel oh. under it. And so when I lift it up, I know it's going to be in a different light. And I'll be able to see some parts that I missed and stuff when I'm po after I polished. But that's how easy it is to patina. Okay. All right. Well, uh, now this is going to be sandwiched in between tempered glass, right? This one is, yes. So if anything goes wrong and then it gets temp uh, insulated then there's you're stuck so you have to make sure yeah, that it's for sure yeah make sure it's nice and clean and everything's perfect just right now this is kind of a crucial time it's nice and black uh now here we go we're going to tip it over 
And with this one, I'm just getting my hands right under it and lifting because it was small enough that it didn't put much pressure here in the middle. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So this is the silver side and the jewels are up now and here's how I do it. You do it fast. 